This is probably the least used area of Edinburgh and this is the west end of Edinburgh. Now there's not really much going on here during the Edinburgh Fringe Festival. You don't have street performances, you don't have people handing out flyers, you don't have any tents or beer tents or nothing, nothing is here. But there's one thing in the west end of Edinburgh that is here and today I am at the world's smallest whiskey bar. Now I can hear what you're saying, the world's smallest whiskey bar. Well it's just a whiskey bar but it's small. Well it's not a whiskey bar, it's actually far from a whiskey bar. It's actually an old police box and what they've done is they've done it up for the Edinburgh Festival and it's only here to the 28th of August and they go away again. It's back to a police box I'm guessing or some ornament in the middle of the street that no one seems to pay interest to but it is been done up as a whiskey bar and we're going to check it out we're going to go inside we're going to take a look about but there's not actually much to go inside it's just a couple of wee seats and the best feature of this is you get a free dram it's completely free now to book online you need to scan the QR code if you're here to book a slot or check it out on the Cast88 website or Facebook page and book a slot. You got a 15 minute slot between 5, half 5, quarter past 5 and that 15 minutes you get to ask questions about it, maybe ask about the brand. I'm guessing it's more a promotion for, for Cast88 but we're going to try it out, we're going to take you people with us and I hope you enjoy this vlog but if you are new to the channel guys uh, please subscribe to the channel, it's completely free. So let's crack on with the video. Just so you know, to make a reservation, you scan this QR code and you get a 15 minute slot to visit this place. Now, I've got a book in at half past five today for 15 minutes. So we're gonna, I'm gonna find out what's going on and I'm hoping to enjoy this experience being the world's smallest whiskey bar. Now, where would you find this in Edinburgh? I mean, you've got the Johnny Walker right next to me here, which is a big whiskey place and they do incredible whiskies in there and they've got a tour you can do in there also. But who cares about Johnny Walker? You want to come to this place. Yes, you won't be spending all night here, but at least a good 15 minutes, yes, definitely. Right behind me here is the famous clock at the West End. Now it's attached to the Johnny Walker building just now. And at every five o'clock it does a wee sing song, a wee dance. And sometimes you can see the guys go round. It's like being at Disney. But not being at Disney and something you can just see it go round and it's quite a nice thing to come see but I'm not too sure what time it actually goes off I know at 6 o'clock it will go off but I'm not too sure when it will start turning and making some song and dances so that's something to come to Edinburgh yeah. and definitely have a look at Here at the smallest whiskey bar in Edinburgh, and this is Mark. Now, Mark, Hello. we're going to go inside. We're going to take a seat, and Mark's going to tell you a bit about the whiskey bar and why it's here in Edinburgh during the Fringe Festival of 2022. So let's take a wee look inside. Oh, well, welcome first to the world's smallest whiskey bar. I am the tallest bartender in Edinburgh, unverified. So this has been opened by Cask 88. So they deal in single unrepeatable whiskies. So once these whiskies are gone, you can never replicate the taste because of the unique way the casks are made. So Is it all cask 88 whiskies? All cask 88 whiskies we've got, all bottled at cask strength. Oh, wow. So it's a very special experience and all for free, of course. I know, I noticed that as well. <laughs> free, it's for free. That doesn't mean you come here and get pished. It means you come here, enjoy a, a dram or two and then just enjoy one. the experience. Oh, just, one. just one. See, I was trying to get two of them there. But you can enjoy one dram, uh, but he never said how much he's going to put in it though, so we'll just do that. But yeah, definitely. So this is our 15 year old Deanston. 
inspired by the railways of Scotland when they went always on strike. So the owner of Cascade Tate's a big railway fan because his grandfather was the conductor of the Flying Scotsman, which we have up here. Point to that so you can also see our t-shirts, which say welcome to Edinburgh. I visited the World's Smallest Whiskey Bar. Oh. And also we have some little cups as well. Oh. So um, yeah, so this is the Caledonian Railway, which is the first direct link from Glasgow to London. Um, this whiskey was distilled in an ex-bourbon barrel of American white oak. So it's got more of a vanilla taste to it, less of talon. It's quite a light, dry, mild whiskey, citrusy, a bit gingery, a bit floral. Good one for beginners, this one. Lovely. Are you a beginner yourself? What, a whiskey? I yeah. drink a couple on a night out, but you know I mean? I, I don't drink too much whiskey, but maybe when I'm a wee bit drunk, I'll have a whiskey or two. Or when I've got too fake, always helps. <laughs> <laughs> So this is quite a special bottle, this is the inaugural release in our witchcraft series named after Isabel Gowdy who in 1662 came forward with her list of confessions either because of ergotism, fungus poison or because she wanted to mess with the minister in the town and she basically said she'd been having orgies with the devil she'd been turning into a cat can I say orgies in your cat? Yeah, you can right? say that, that's fine I'm sure um, we've got some uh, all adults on this channel <laughs> It's a family channel <laughs> And um, basically a modern depiction of witches comes from this lady who lived in Speyside where this whiskey was distilled in liquid. So a lot of Speyside whiskeys tend to be quite fruity. This is quite a fruity whiskey, but it was also quite rich. It was distilled in a Le Chateau Fatite, a barrique cask of European red wine. So it's it's um, quite a very complex whiskey as well. Some spices, some almond and a bit of toffee in there. And finally, this is our unfiltered series, bottled at cast strength, 59.6% with no added colour and non-chill filtered. So this is one for the advanced drinkers. It's um, distilled over in Mall in the Tobamori distillery of La Chegg. So this is a very peat smoky one because they couldn't get coal to um, Mall, so they had to use peat instead and smoked it over like kippers. Taste and this is a bit of licorice, a bit of blackcurrant, but mostly the peat and the alcohol you'll taste. So what one do you... What one do we get to try? Um, you can pick any of them. Any day free? Yeah, so if you're into your smoky foods, I would recommend going for that one. It's quite a like smoky part. Kind of stuff. Yeah, kind of bacon, I think that I'll kind go of for thing. That one you want then, to go yeah. for that one? Yeah, let's go for that one. Our, um, let's, let's try a wee dram. Yeah. This bottle as well is glow in the dark. The witchcraft one. Glow in the dark? Yeah. Okay, we're going to wait till night time to see it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a bit hard to do. So oh. the one you're trying as well, this was still in a. First fill Oloroso Sherry Hogshead cask. There you go. Our cups are edible as well. It like stopped there. <laughs> <laughs> Does that thing just teach you? Yeah, automatically stops. Oh, it's 10 mil. Yeah, just 10 mil. Let's have a wee taste, guys. So it's edible cups made of oat. Some people say it tastes like ice cream wafers. So I can eat these cups? You can eat the cups. Try and reduce the plastic in the world. That's very good. That's nice of Cass 88 thinking of the environment. Uh, here we go. So you can buy all of these in Cass 88 Ooh. website. You, oh, there's a, a, a wee bit of water if it's too strong. Oh no, it's good. There's a wee kick. I'll just take a wee bit of water from the last wee bit. How do I get this up? There's a wee hole in the side if you cover the hole. Like that? Uh, just in the side. That we want. Oh, yeah. and cover that, then it should take the wash up. Into it. There you go. There you go. Oh. Oh, yeah. So yeah, these are all available on Cascade Tate website. Um, lavish editions. Lovely. Only. Definitely. What well, about 200 bottles of these? About 370 of them. And I'm not sure if it's fair I'm due for that one as well. Yes. And so what expired Cassidy 8 to do this during the Fringe Festival? So we want to build up kind of exposure, get some Facebook reviews is yeah. the main thing. We've got a little competition as well, signing our guest book, leaving a Facebook review. You can buy a bottle of these. So um yeah, just try and get more exposure. So you're selling company. bottles here? Just Can't now? sell them out here for licensing oh, right. reasons. Okay. But they're all available on the website. And does Cassidy 8 have a shop in Edinburgh? They do not, but they do have their offices based they do have in their offices. Yeah. Where do they sell their drink about? Just on the websites. Webs websites. Can you get it in Johnny Walker? You cannot get it in Johnny Walker, <laughs> no. So, if you go next door trying to get a bottle of Cass 88, you can't buy it. It's exclusive to their website, which I'll leave the link in the description to their website, and you can go and check them out. Uh, but it's amazing, definitely amazing. Well, I'm going to take a minute to 
enjoy this area. You guys have a wee look about. I'll see you in a minute. So we're back with the tallest bartender in Edinburgh in, in, <laughs> in the smallest bar in Edinburgh just now, the smallest whiskey bar in Edinburgh and you can see the Cass 88 bar uh, by going on to the website, uh, this man's just about to tell you about their website and how to book. So you can book this through Eventbrite if you type in Cask 88 presents the world's smallest bar, you can book a 15 minute slot there. You've also got QR codes around the bar if you're passing, you can go up and scan them. And if you don't have the time to visit, you can go to our website and you can try all of these bottles. And if you're even more interested in whiskey, you can buy your own casks through yes. Cask 88. Definitely try them out. Buy a bottle, come and get yourself a wee dram and enjoy the Edinburgh life and the Edinburgh culture of Scottish whiskey. So I'm going to leave it there. This nice gentleman here, sorry, what's your name again? Mark. Mark, this nice gentleman Mark has been a great host today and I'm going to leave it there and I want to thank you everybody for tuning in and if you are new to the channel please subscribe to the channel and click that bell for notifications and I'll see you in the next one take care Bye.